everyone, welcome back to my channel today. So today's video, I just want to kind of jump in here real quick. So on Wednesdays, I'm planning on doing Get Ready With Me Wednesdays. I kind of want to get a little bit more of a schedule here on my channel because right now I just kind of put up as much as I can and that like what time would let me put up but I kind of want to bring like more like tutorials and get ready with me's but kind of more of a fun side to it kind of trying out new products because there's always new products coming out and I rarely ever do tutorials so I was like you know what it'd be really fun to do like a get ready with me like chit chat and try them out together just like we're two girlfriends or girlfriends and other boys out there too that love makeup just kind of like chatting kind of seeing how all the products work out and all that fun stuff so I'm gonna start doing this every Wednesday so that way I also make sure to get up makeup tutorials for you guys so I thought this would be really fun comment down below what you guys think about this idea and yeah so this video today is a video that I actually filmed a little bit ago but I still wanted to put it up because I like the way that it turned out I thought it was really good and I was like you know what this might be a good way to start this off I always get a ton of requests with people asking me to do makeup tutorials using the products that I get in my subscription boxes because I get so many. So this was that first video that I did. I, I believe that these were for my August boxes. I know, that was a while ago, you guys. I'm sorry. But I thought this was really good. I was like, you know what? This is already done. I already edited it. So let's go ahead and throw it up. So I want to throw this little intro in there for you guys so you know when it was done. But again, I will be doing these every single Wednesday, just trying out new products that just launched and all that fun stuff. So yeah, I don't want to make this intro too long. But I hope you guys like this idea. If you guys do, then please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that little bell. So that way you guys get notified for all the videos. Because remember, YouTube does glitch every once in a while and my videos don't go to like the subscription feed all the time. It happens to a lot of people. So always make sure to hit that little bell if you guys want notifications for when I upload. And yeah, so now let's go ahead and get on into this. I was about to say morning routine, but that's not what it was. Let's just go ahead and get on into this. Get ready with me using subscription boxes. All right, so first off, before I even get into this, you guys, I legit just took my curling iron and I had it on my desk and I felt it and I was like, oh, it's off, okay. Well, when I was putting it down on the ground, I must have turned it on or something and I was just like moving around and all of a sudden I put my foot on it and my foot was there probably for a good like five seconds and then I was like, holy freaking moly I just burned the crap out of my foot like you know how if you get burned it's like a delayed like you know response like delayed senses and my foot right now is hurting so bad it's like stinging I'm like wondering if I should put it in ice or something because I had it on there for so long oh my god and it was like so much pressure because I stood on it oh my god okay just thought I would say that because I'm definitely in pain right now. But we're gonna go ahead and get into this trying out subscription box product. So as you guys know, I get a ton of subscription boxes, so we're gonna go ahead and try these products out. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and try the Aloe Pure Skin Care Time Repair Serum. I have not tried this yet. It's by Aloe Wet. It's supposed to help with anti-aging, all that fun stuff. So I'm just gonna put a small amount of this because I don't know how this is gonna wear underneath makeup. It's like taking forever to pump out. Any day now, any day now. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is what it looks like right here. It's a very light serum. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face. It smells really good. My face is gonna get so red, you guys. Whenever I put product on my face with my fingers, it just, look at that. It just gets so red. I hate it. All right, so that felt really good. I'll have to keep trying this out and see what I think about it doesn't feel too tacky or anything. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and use a light moisturizer. So we're gonna, oh, my foot hurts so bad. Um, we're gonna go ahead and use the Lancome Energy de Vie light serum thingy. So this is the Smoothing and Glow Boosting Liquid Care. We're gonna try a little bit of this on top of that serum. It's like basically, it's really watery. It's very thin. I'm hoping my skin likes this. That would suck. Oh, I hate trying new skincare products. They always scare me so much. I actually usually like to spot test it and see how it does. I tend to stay away from my chin area because it's so sensitive. So I really check it right up here because my chin area is more hormonal than anything. Like if I'm gonna be starting my period or if I'm on my period or I'm gonna be ending my period, I will get all my breakouts right here, which is why I have a few down there right now. And that's because I just thought I'm a period TMI, but that's what happened. So 
That felt good too. Ooh, it makes your skin feel like silk. That felt really good. I really like that. And the next thing that we're gonna try out is the Caudalie um, Eye Lifting Balm. So we're gonna try this out on underneath our eyes. I'm gonna take it on my ring finger and just dab it like this. And I'm just gonna try it underneath. It's very nice, it's like light. So hopefully it doesn't make my concealer crease because that would be no bueno. All right, so next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my foundation real quick and I will be right back. All right, so next up is something I totally forgot to do before doing my foundation, but I saw that I also got this concealer and this is from the Hey Honey Trick and Treat series. This is the Active Propolis Cream Concealer Normal to Dry. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this, this was supposed to be put underneath your eye, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna put a little bit of this underneath my eyes and we're gonna see how this works. I'm really nervous about this one because I remember in the video I was like, oh, it seems a little thick. So let's see. You know what? It doesn't feel as thick as what I thought. I feel like this is still thinner than the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I don't usually put concealer like this underneath. Usually it's like on a stick, so it's a little bit easier for me to get close underneath my eyes. But I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out with my brush. All right, so, so far so good with that concealer. I'm not noticing any creasing already. I am gonna set it, and the color seems really good too. I don't know what shade this is, but it also says that you can add another layer of it on top and like build with it. It covered up really well, but I also don't really have any bad like dark circles or anything. Like that's one area that I'm very lucky in. I have the acne prone skin, but I'm thankful that I do not get the dark circles. So I think it covered up good, but I also don't really have dark, dark circles to cover up with. But it's definitely nice that it is buildable, which is awesome. And it actually, like I was worried that it was gonna be too thick and it actually was pretty thin. And it felt like hydrating underneath there. Like it just, it felt good. It didn't feel drying. So I really like that. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and set my face real quick. So that way I can set that concealer to keep it from creasing. Because yeah, if you don't set it, it is going to crease. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my eyebrows and we're gonna use this little eyebrow thing that we got in Birchbox from Benefit. Like, come on, Benefit. Do you guys see how small this thing is? Like, this is gonna be so hard to use. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in shade number two, which is a shade that I actually used to wear and now I've been wearing a little bit of number three. I love this pencil. I was very tempted in just grabbing my full size one and doing that with it, but I was like, you know what, no. We are trying stuff from the subscription boxes, so I have to stick with this little itty bitty thing. So we'll see how this works. Hopefully it's not like a complete disaster, but wish me luck. All right, so the brows are done, and this actually was a lot easier to use than what I thought it was gonna be. And this is how much product I have left right now. This product right here does not like twist up or anything. The amount that you have showing is the exact amount that you have left. So it's not much product there, but it's probably only going to last you maybe three times doing your brows. And I've been using this brow pencil for the outer corner of my brow every single day, and I use the precisely my brow in the inner corner. And I love them, I highly recommend them. All right, so next up we're gonna go ahead and go to the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids with the Beauty For Real Shadow Stick in 24-7. And this is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. That's what it looks like right there. Really, really pretty. I'm so excited to use this. Let's do this. So I'm just gonna place it on my lid and then smudge it out. God, that's so pretty. I really, really like this eyeshadow pencil right here. This is so pretty. I wanna get more of these. Oh my gosh. Is it, wait, is it called Midnight Marathon instead? It says 24, it's the Shadow Stick 24-7 Eyeshadow in Midnight Marathon. So I got the wrong shade name, but gorgeous. I'm gonna have it linked down below. This is really, really pretty. I really like this one. So I'm just gonna do it on the other eye real quick. All right, so there it is done. It's so pretty. I would honestly even like just add a bit of a color into that crease and leave it at that because I think it's so pretty. But we're gonna go ahead and top it off with the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow in the shade I-544. And I'm just gonna place this on top, but that shadow stick, oh, so pretty. I'm like obsessed with it right now. I can't wait to use it again. I think this is like perfect to do for those days that you just like wanna put makeup on really fast and look more put together. Awesome. 
All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place the shadow on top of it. I'm just going to slightly blend this up just to give me a little bit into the crease because I do have really big like eyelids. All right, so next up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and line my lash line with the Sephora pencil, which is waterproof. And this is in the shade 15 Flirting Game. I'm just gonna go ahead and line the tops of my lids with this real quick. All right, so real quick what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my Beauty For Real pencil and I'm gonna put a little bit on my waterline and lower lash line. And then next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pencil brush with the eyeshadow and smoke a little bit down there as well. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the Smoky Eye Pen from Rodeal and I'm going to line my upper waterline or my tight line, I'm gonna line my upper tight line and I'm thinking about bringing it on my lower waterline. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'm gonna do my tight line real quick. All right, so so far with this Rodeal pencil, I really, really like it. I like it because it was so easy. It like just kind of melted on to your tight line and your waterline. It wasn't like rough, it wasn't hard to put on. It was really pigmented. So, so far, yeah, really do like this pencil. We'll see how long it lasts on that waterline though. All right, so I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes. And this is the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara. And I actually thought this was totally new and it wasn't. Everyone told me it's been out for a couple of years, I guess. I don't know, I've never even heard of it. I've never even tried it. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. It's a really fat brush. I'm not the biggest fan with using these fat brushes on my bottom lashes because it goes everywhere for me like I don't know what it is but it just gets everywhere I tend to like to use this more so on my upper lashes and use a very thin one on the bottom lashes but hopefully this goes well <laughs> yeah not a fan of this wand at all for bottom lashes it's like everywhere right there it even got on my eye <laughs> All right, so this mascara, I notice it's like too clumpy and big for those bottom lashes. I think it might be pretty decent for the top lashes. It actually reminds me a little bit of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because of how fluffy that wand is and it does have a tendency to clump. So I just wanna warn you guys with that one. Um, I think it definitely will be better on the top lashes, not so great on the bottom lashes. I do like how black it made them though, but I definitely do notice that it's a little clumpy. So that's like the only down part to that. All right, so next up we're gonna go ahead and go in with the Coastal Scents Blush and Bronzer Mini Palette right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Shimmery Bronzer right here and I'm going to warm my face up with that. I'll take my Sibling Brush, which is like my favorite blush for bronzer. Use that. Ooh, that goes on really nicely. It's not patchy. It's kind of warm though. You see how warm that is? I give it to this bronzer right now because it is so pigmented. Make sure to use a light hand. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the brush they gave us and I'm gonna go in with the matte one and I'm gonna contour with it a little bit. We're gonna use a very light hand with this because I have fair skin and this is like really dark on me. Definitely use a light hand with this. It is pretty pigmented. I'm actually gonna take this middle shade right here and I'm gonna take it with a flat shader brush and I'm actually going to put this underneath my brow bone to lighten it up a bit. Ooh, it's really powdery. All right, so next up I'm gonna go ahead and use this pinky blush right here and put this on top of my cheeks. It's a very pigmented palette. That is pink. My God, you guys, this is so pigmented. I'm like trying to knock off as much as I can. We're gonna blend this out. All right, so with the Coastal Sense palette, definitely use a light hand, you guys. This thing is 
pigmented. Like, I'm not the biggest fan the way that this looks like on my skin tone. I think I'm too fair for this because it's so pigmented. Like, I even use a stippling brush and it's still like, wham, right there on the cheeks. And I didn't even take that much product. I make sure, I made sure to knock off the excess. It's just pretty pigmented. Definitely is a good bang for your buck on this palette because of how pigmented it is. I think it's gonna be really good for people with medium skin tone because I think it's gonna really like blend in better. I think it's a little bit too pigmented for my fair skin tone, but it's really pretty though and I think they have some really nice shades in here. So definitely use a light hand with this palette. All right, so next up I have two lip colors here. And one of them is from Dirty Little Secret. It's their matte lipstick in Phantom, which is really, really pretty. I really want to use that one. But this other one is from Trust Fun Beauty, and this is in the shade K By. I think K By might go better with this look, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on real quick. I'm gonna show you guys both options. So I'm gonna put this one on first and let you guys know what I think about the formulation of it and everything. Um, I'm not gonna use a lip liner. I'm being risky with that one, but I'm not gonna use a lip liner because there was no lip liner in here. So we're just gonna work with what we have. Let's try this out. This is a really pretty shade. You guys, it feels amazing on the lips. It's not drying. It has like a little bit of a slight gloss finish to it because you can like rub your lips together and it's not matte, not drying. It doesn't like make you feel crusty. It feels really good and really comfortable on your lips. It's got a little bit of like a satin finish to it and I really enjoy it. It's a gorgeous mauve shade, really pretty. Highly recommend this. This is like, I'm definitely going to be using this more often. So really, really like that shade. We're gonna go ahead and put on the Dirty Little Secret Phantom one on next. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and apply this one on really fast. Let's do this. I'm really excited to see how this one wears. All right, so here we go. We're gonna try this. Ooh, this is like a red, red. All right, so this is the lip color right here. It is like fire engine red. It is bright, it is vibrant. I think this is so much fun. I've never even worn a red shade like this before, ever, which is crazy, right? I usually wear like more of the darker like reds that have a little bit of like the bluish undertone because they tend to go really well with my skin tone, but this, I'm not hating it at all. I think it looks really good. I really like it. And I love the way that it's popping on camera right now because I'm looking at my viewfinder over here and it looks really good, so I like it. I definitely did notice that this is a really thin formula, which is nice. It's not patchy. It goes on really even, which is another huge plus. It is drying because, watch, it's not going to transfer. See that? Not going anywhere. I think it's very trustworthy. It dries down to that matte finish. It does feel a little dry on your lips, so I definitely say exfoliate and then put on a lip balm, let that soak in, wipe it off, and then put this on top. But honestly, Every liquid lipstick is going to be drying, but I think this one is more on the comfortable side because it's not thick. Only put on a thin layer because you don't need to layer this up because it is opaque and it's not gonna get patchy on you. So only put on a thin layer and you'll be good to go. Like this, I could definitely wear for four hours because I think it's gonna be comfortable. I honestly, for my opinion, I don't like wearing liquid lipsticks more than four hours. I usually travel with like a little makeup wipe, take it off and then reapply it after that amount of time because I just, I hate it. I Any liquid lipstick out there, I have to do that because they, I don't know, they just get uncomfortable on me. But this is actually fairly comfortable because it is so thin. So I actually really do like this and I definitely want to get more, but this is like such a pretty red. Again, it's in the shade Phantom. I will have all the products linked down below for you guys. So that's awesome. And next up what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna add some spray into my hair. This is the Oribe Wave and Shine Spray. So I'm just gonna add that into my hair. Oh, it smells so good. Just going to fluff up this hair, give it some volume. That stuff smells amazing. Really, really like that. Also, real quick, I saw a lot of comments about the Wella Professionals, and I even had my friend Courtney tell me about it too, saying that this is an amazing hair oil. I haven't used it yet. It's a smoothing oil, which I think you would put in your hair like, you know what, let's go ahead and put some in right now. We're gonna go ahead and try some. Cause my hairstyles will even take oil and put it in afterwards, like even if it's like dry. But I definitely recommend using it like before you blow dry your hair. But we're just gonna add it in. It smells really good. All right, so next up I'm gonna go ahead and use my Clean Reserve Blonde Rose Spray. Just has a little bit of perfume. Mm. 
All right, so this is the completed makeup look using some of the products from my subscription boxes. I have a lot of products from subscription boxes because I get so many of them. There is still quite a bit that I did not use in this video, but I will be using them in the future, so I'll let you guys know my thoughts on those. But I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this and you want to see this every single month, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment down below that you do want to see these every month because I will be more than happy to do them for you. I had a lot of fun doing this and trying out the products and like kind of figuring out a way to do a tutorial with them. Everything will be linked down below for you guys. So I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.